This video is made possible with the support of Headphones.com, the home of the 365 day return policy. Headphones.com has some of the best service and selection in the personal audio industry. Visit Headphones.com today for all your personal audio needs. Hey friends, good to see you again. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Marcello. In this review, I'll be discussing the Hyphen HE1000 SE, otherwise known as Hexe. Hyphen was founded in 2007 by owner Dr. Fang in New York. The HE1000 SE, or as I will refer to them occasionally throughout the review, as the Hexe sit near the very top at the time of filming this review of the Hyphen Planner Magnetic Headphone offerings, with only the Susvara currently above them. For this review, I will be utilizing several headphone amps and digital analog converters to draw my conclusions about the sound of the HE1000 SE, as well as comparing the sound signature primarily to two other headphones I had on hand during the review process, the ZMF Verite Open Desert Ironwood Limited Edition and the Rossen Audio Rad Zero. I will discuss my audio chain throughout the review and will list the gear used in the video description as well so you can check them out. As with all my audio reviews, I will also provide my music playlist I use to evaluate the headphones so you can listen along with me. I'm not being compensated for this review, and all thoughts and impressions are of course my own. The review will cover five main areas, build quality and comfort, quality of sound, including bass, mids, and treble, tonality, imaging, and soundstage, and lastly, synergy and comparisons. Then if you stick around to the end, I will give you my overall conclusions and comparisons to a couple other headphones. So let's talk build quality, specs, comfort, and design. The HE1000 SE are an open back planner magnetic headphone using a breakthrough core technology developed by Hyphaman and first of its kind in headphone use. Hyphaman uses advanced material for the diaphragm at only a nanometer thick, providing extremely fast response with an exceptional amount of dynamic range. The Hexi uses magnets made from neodymium recognized for providing incredible magnetic strength and what Heifman calls acoustically invisible stealth magnets to strive for an acoustically transparent sound. Heifman states that these stealth magnets allow for sound waves to pass through the magnet structure without generating interference that would normally degrade the sound quality. The HE1000SE includes a patented window shade system for driver protection that is optimized for open back listening. The cups of the Hexi are asymmetrical, following the shape of the human ear, and are very large, creating a very open sound signature. The Hexi uses 3.5mm user-replaceable connectors and include three detachable cables, one with 3.5mm jack, one with XLR balance jack, and one cable with a quarter inch jack. The HE1000 SE have a metal structure using CNC milling, hand polishing, and include what feels and looks like a wood veneer on the cups. The pads on the Hexi are very comfortable and do not cause my ears any irritation or heat buildup. 
Of all the Hyphman headphones I have tried so far, this model has the best build quality and overall physical appearance. The Hexi has an impedance rating of 35 ohms and a sensitivity of 96 dB. Their frequency response is 8 Hz to 65 kHz. Weighing in at only 440 grams, they are lightweight and very comfortable. Compared to the Hyphman Nanda, I find their build quality and overall comfort to be exceptionally better. The headband is easy to adjust, and the ear cups have excellent swivel capability. Of all the flagship headphones I have demoed so far, the HE1000 SE is easily the most comfortable. The HE1000 SE come in a large pleather wrapped box of higher quality than the Hyphman Ananda. Next, let's get into the quality of sound. The HE1000 SE produce a highly transparent open sound signature that allowed me to hear more details from recordings than I have ever before. What I mean by this is the subtle micro details like shifts in singers' voices or the sounds of instruments being played by musicians were more apparent than any other headphone I have listened to before. The Hexi present an exceptional amount of clarity from instruments, vocals, and the entire frequency range, from the lowest bass regions to the highest treble regions. The quality of bass on the HE1000 SE is excellent allowing for the proper tones of deeper sounding instruments like the cello for example to shine through on recordings. The sub bass is very impressive as well, allowing from certain tracks such as Why So Serious from the Dark Knight soundtrack to actually allow me to feel the vibration of the driver from certain portions of that song. The A90 headphone amplifier demonstrated this very well on many of my test tracks. The overall quantity, however, of bass from the HE1000SE to my ears sounds fairly neutral. What I mean by this is that if you are a bass head or listen to music such as electronic, pop, or other genres of music, that you may prefer to have more quantity of bass, both from the sub and mid bass regions, you will want to consider EQ or tone control to bring up those areas some, in my opinion. However, for classical, orchestral, acoustic string instruments such as guitars with vocals, I found the quality and quantity of bass to be excellent from well-recorded music. I found myself being drawn heavily to orchestral music, classical music, movie soundtracks, and new age music from artists like Enya when listening to the HE1000 SE. The Hexi allows these types of genres to just sound very powerful and larger than life. I even created a Rune playlist using Tidal and Kobuz with tracks specific to these genres that wowed me when listening to the HE1000 SE. Leave me a comment in the video description if you would like me to share that music playlist in the comments with you. The mid-range sounds fairly neutral and pleasing to my ears, allowing the majority of most vocals and instruments to sound natural from well recorded music. I did find though for some genres of music or specific tracks, the HE1000SE didn't complement the singer's vocals in a way that I preferred. One example of this is In Your Eyes from Peter Gabriel. His vocals came across a bit thin sounding and less pleasing to my ears than some headphones that have a bit more warmth than the mid-range. So that is one thing to be aware of. The treble on the HE1000SE provides incredible clarity and definition with a more forward energetic presentation to my ears that works well with classical and orchestral music. However, this tuning may not be as ideal for rock, pop, and other genres of music that utilize some instruments that may sound a bit tonally off when listening to the HE1000SE. Once again, this will depend on your preferences and your specific audio chain. I didn't notice any sibilance from the HE1000SE, which was a big plus. I should add that I most definitely prefer the Hexi on tube amplifiers, such as the Amps and Sound Nautilus or ZMF Pendant, versus the solid state headphone amplifier of the Matrix Element X or the Topping A90. The tube amplifiers helped relax the treble regions a bit with the Hexi, which for my listening preferences was a very good thing. The tonality of the HE1000 SE is again very good for orchestral and classical music, but did not sound as natural for other types of genres of music when comparing the Hexi to the Ross and Audio Rat Zero and the ZMF Verte Open, which I will discuss more when we get to those comparisons. So let's talk about the stage and imaging of the HE1000 SE. The stage of the Hexi is very airy and open sounding. I believe this is because of the physical size of the opening in the larger cups, as well as the stealth magnets Hyphaman uses. The precision and layering of images on their stage is up there with a focal utopia for accuracy and definition. Every instrument, every voice, every sound has its place on the soundstage when listening with the HE1000SE. Speaking of vocals, 
The HE-1000SE displays vocals in a very intimate and enjoyable way. On the track Love from Lana Del Rey, her vocals are presented very intimately while still maintaining the rest of the stage. I found this to be the case as well with many other recordings I listened to. The left to right side of the stage is very good, presenting sounds, instruments, and vocals to my ears in a very pleasing way with good overall size. The forward depth of the stage isn't as deep, however, when compared to the width of the stage, to my ears at least. Searching for synergies with the HE-1000SE, I found I really enjoyed the Amps and Sound Nautilus, paired with a Matrix Element X as its DAC. The ZMF Pendant with a shit Bifrost 2 or the Topping D90 as its DAC, followed by the shit Lear 3 paired with a Bifrost 2. Listening to the Hexi with solid state amplification wasn't my preferred pairing with this headphone specifically, unless I wanted to have a reference for their sound signature without any tube harmonics. As I mentioned earlier in the review, I really feel they benefit from tube amplification, at least for my personal preferences. The solid state amps I used to review the HE-1000SE came across a bit brighter sounding than I personally prefer for much of the music that I listen to. I will leave links in the description of the video for you to check out for all the products I am discussing. If you are thinking of making a purchase, please consider using one of my affiliate links. As I do earn a small commission, which does allow me to keep dedicating time and resources to bringing you more content. Also, don't forget to subscribe today and smash that like button for me. It helps brother out. A few comparisons to other headphones I did while I was evaluating the HE-1000SE were the ZMF Verte Open Limited Edition Desert Ironwood and the Rossen Audio Rad Zero. Along with my standard playlist in the video description, I utilized several other tracks. If you want to see the other playlists I created, don't forget to leave me a comment on the video and I can link it for you in the comment section. So first comparing the HE-1000SE with the Rad Zero. To my ears, I found the HE-1000SE to have more resolution, picking up more detail and micro details on recordings. This was surprisingly closer than I thought it would be, however, as the Rad Zero have more resolution to see into recordings than I originally expected they would. As far as tonality, the Rad Zero with zero EQ or tone control has the better sounding timbre compared to the Hexi for the majority of music to my ears, with the exception of classical and orchestral music where the HE-1000SE are at their best in my opinion. The Rad Zero is a warmer sounding headphone for sure than the Hexi, which in my opinion allows the Rad Zero to play better with a majority of genres of music without any EQ. Bass to my ears is a tricky one when comparing these two headphones. The quantity of bass presented is definitely better from the Rad Zero, and at the time of filming this review, the Rad Zero is one of my favorite headphones for bass presentation. I will say, however, the HE-1000SE's quality of bass and how it defines or separates the bass regions from all the other regions is better than the Rad Zero. When paired with orchestral music, classical, and some acoustic music, I actually prefer the bass on the HE-1000SE. The mid-range of both headphones to me sounds very good, with my preferences still leaning towards the Rad Zero as I listen to lots of genres of music as well as different quality recordings. Vocals are presented with a bit more warmth and body when listening to the Rad Zero, which can be a bit more forgiving on certain tracks and recordings. However, many of the string instruments that fall in the mid-range sound absolutely stunning from the HE-1000SE. This will really come down to your personal preferences and, of course, the types of music that you listen to. Treble from the HE-1000SE seems to have more air and sparkle to my ears than the Rad Zero, which again is brilliant for classical and orchestral music, but not as good, in my opinion, for alternative, metal, rock, and a few other genres where the Rad Zero tends to do a better job. Again, this will come down to your preferences, your audio chain, and whether or not you use EQ or tone control. Lastly, let's compare the sound stages of the two headphones. The HE-1000SE has the more open and airy sounding stage with better accuracy of images on the stage as well as better layering of those images in my opinion. The width of the stage is close with the Hexi still having the wider stage to my ears. Forward depth is also pretty similar. Overall, I think what sets apart the stages between these two headphones in my opinion is the accuracy size of the images on the stage and the open airy sound of the Hexi. Comparing next the HE-1000SE to the ZMF Verte Open, I found both headphones to be extremely resolving and very close in performance when it comes to detail and micro detail retrieval. The Hexi may have a small advantage in this area, but it's also closer than what I anticipated when comparing these two premium headphones side by side. 
As far as tonality, the ZMF Verite Open, to my ears, sounds more natural and more pleasing for all genres of music. It's not a secret at this point, the house sound Zach, Bevan, and their team create is one of the best in the industry for headphone timbre, at least in my humble opinion. The Verite is warmer sounding and presents vocals far better, in my opinion, than the HE1000 SE does and has the advantage of also being able to pad swap to get a completely different sound signature without having to mess with EQ or tone control. Comparing the bass of these two headphones is interesting. The Verite sounds more dynamic, packing more of a punch, as well as the overall quantity of bass is greater from the Verite Open. However, the HE1000 SE has that special ability to define the bass more clearly from all other areas on the track, allowing you to see through it on recordings. In addition, the HE1000's bass reaches lower into the sub-bass regions to my ears. The Verite, in my opinion, however, will sound better in its bass presentation with the majority of genres of music versus the Hexi, unless you're going to use EQ or tone control for some tracks or genres of music. The mid-range to my ears sounds better from the ZMF Verte with just the right amount of sweetness from string instruments and vocals. I prefer the mid-range of the Verte open to the Heifman HE1000 SE for its added warmth for the majority of genres of music that I listen to. Similarly to the previous comparison, the HE1000 SE does tend to have more air and sparkle in the treble regions than the Verte open, which may give it a slight advantage to some listeners depending on their listening preferences. However, for a purist who isn't going to use EQ or tone control, I would say I would prefer the treble execution of the Verite Open as it is a bit smoother and offers pad rolling capabilities to shape this region a little bit. Again, all these comparisons are subjective and based on my personal listening preferences. Every person hears a bit different and has an overall preference in sound. So it's important you get your own ears on these products I'm talking about to formulate your own opinion. This way you know which one is right for you. Last but not least, let's talk about the sound stages of these two great headphones. Again, the HE1000 SE has that more open and airy sounding stage. I've said it once and I'll say it again, I love this quality about some of the Hyphaman headphones I've got a chance to hear. I first got a taste of this with a Hyphaman Ananda and now with the HE1000 SE. However, the Verte Open is no slouch when it comes to soundstage, and it has a few tricks up its sleeve that the Hexi doesn't. The Verte Open's overall width of soundstage and the slightly more enveloping and three-dimensional presentation to my ears is a huge plus with their stage. Both headphones are excellent as far as imaging on their respective sound stages, with the HE1000 SE having a touch more definition of the images, but again, it's very close. I vastly prefer the stages of the HE1000 SE or the Verite Open over the stage of the Rad Zero. As far as comfort of the three headphones and which I preferred, the lightest weight headphone generally wins, and in this case, comfort did follow overall weight, with the HE1000 SE feeling the most comfortable to me, especially for longer listening sessions over one hour, followed next by the Verite Open, and lastly by the Rad Zero. When comparing build quality of the three headphones, the ZMF Verte and the Rad Zero are my two favorites for both look and feel. Both headphones are uniquely one of a kind and feel like they would last a lifetime compared to the HE1000 SE. So which headphone should you choose? Well, that is completely up to you and it will greatly depend on your financial situation, your listening preferences, and I always recommend just getting your own ears on a pair as only you will know what sounds the best to you. In addition, all too often headphones are discussed, but the gear used to drive them is an afterthought. It's equally as important, in my opinion, to pair a synergistic DAC and amp with your favorite pair of headphones to get the best out of them. You wouldn't drive a Ferrari and put terrible quality fuel in it or crappy tires on the wheels, so always keep this in mind when you're building your ideal audio chain. In my opinion, for the listener that prefers a more analytical sound signature, incredible resolution and detail retrieval, along with an open, airy sounding soundstage and great comfort, the Heifeman HE1000 SE checks all of those boxes. In conclusion, the HE1000 SE are a technical marvel, with the best build quality so far of all Heifeman headphones I have tried. Add to that their amazing comfort and transparent sound, and these might be a traditional audiophile's dream, and possibly one of the best headphones in this price range, especially when talking about classical music and orchestral compositions. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and show your support by using my affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again, friends, for watching. Smash that like button and leave me a comment with your thoughts on the HE1000 SE and any other audio gear you want me to review next. Until next time, friends, much love.